After World War II, communism became the bugaboo and the Soviet Union became the enemy. And even though, and one of the things the CIA did right after World War II was hire a lot of Nazis. Guys who'd been, who'd been Nazis were now recycled and, and brought into the CIA. Uh, uh, the rocket, Nazi rocket scientist uh, von Braun went to work for the United States develop, developing intercontinental ballistic missiles. So uh, the, past, the Nazi past was forgiven and Nazis went to work for the United States, including a guy named Reinhard Gellin who'd been the Nazi intelligence, military intelligence officer in charge of operations against the Soviets in um, Eastern Europe. And this guy, Gellin, became the head of the, uh, the CIA's main intelligence operator into um, East Berlin and, and areas like the Ukraine, where, he had, where the Nazis had intelligence agents uh, during World War II. And this guy, Reinhard Gellin, on behalf of his uh, new CIA masters, just activated all the agent nets that he had during World War II. The same thing was going on in Ukraine, although the Ukraine had very much um, uh, large swaths of its population were fascists and were actively involved against the war against the Soviets um, and uh, uh, were enemies of the United States in World War II. After World War II, they became assets of the CIA. So the CIA has been developing fascist assets in the Ukraine for 70 years. And every year since 1948, when the CIA was, went into operation, it has a, had a station in the Ukraine with a CIA officer who's running operations. And those operations have all been directed against first the Soviet Union and after the collapse of the Soviet Union against Russia. 